All right, so right here I've got a case from the company called Carved. And basically what they do is they're a company that specializes in custom resin and wood cases. So I picked one out and I got it right here. And let's just check out and see what it looks like. So taking it out of the packaging here, out of this, this cute little bag, um, you can see here the case. And with my green S22, I went with a green case. So right here you can see that the green resin and then the wood down here I basically filtered by light green to match the green, kind of bluish green of the foam. And this is one that really stood out to me. And what's kind of cool about this is this was the photo I saw online when buying. It had like a name and everything. And that's because on the inside here it says it's one of one. Which basically means that the one you see online in the photo is the one that you're going to get. It's only one case that looks like that. And they, they update the website frequently to update new designs and you until you find one that you like. And I really liked this one because of the seamless design between the wood here and the resin. And the wood is actually from a burrow of a tree, which is those big balls that of wood that grow on the side of the base of a tree, like an old cottonwood tree. And they basically create their wood slabs out of those, which is kind of resourceful and interesting way of um, gathering a wood resource. So the green resin actually has a bit of a sparkle in it, um, like a sparkly flake pigments in it, kind of like car paint. So it has like a really good shine to it. And in the sun, they really flick, um, shimmer and it's actually pretty cool. And you can see here up close the wood and the transition to the plastic resin up here. Yeah, so on the inside here, it's got some felt that's very soft. So it keep the foam from getting scratched if any debris or dust get underneath the case. So that's really nice. And then in here, you can see the buttons actually um, they're actually a nice clicky tactile premium button like a plastic not like just a rubber smushy button. So actually they feel pretty nice. So how about we just pop this on the phone? This has got the green S22 here. And let's just pop it in. It's a nice snug fit, which is usually quality, um, sign of a good quality case. All right, and there it is. <sighs> it's blowed off a <laughs> little dusty. But yeah, see there uh, the green cameras here with the green resin. It's actually a pretty cool little look here. Yeah. Yeah, and also what's cool about it is these buttons are very clicky. So yeah, they have a nice tactile feel, real responsive, so you know how many times you've clicked it, which is super nice. And yeah, there it is. I'll like get a good view of it. Yeah, it's super smooth, real smooth to the touch, and super shiny, which is super cool. Also it has these, this cool uh, ribbed pattern on it here, which... Uh, gives it grip it digs into your skin so it, it gives into your palm real well which is really nice so also the case does have a really nice lip on it let's see if we can focus there we go um so it has a nice raised lip so that means when you place the phone face down the screen's not going to be touching the table so you can't scratch the screen when using it face down and obviously if the case like this of course you'd want to be using it face down to see the cool design um so uh, I think what's very important though is to mention a few things of the case that are a little bit not so much disappointing but they're things I think people should definitely know if they're buying the case. One of the things is that the charging port here at the bottom is very narrow. So it's basically the exact height as the charger that comes with the phone. So if you if that fits in there and you have more cables, third party cables that are that width then you should be okay. But as I know a lot of third party cables actually are quite wide and quite tall and they won't fit into this quite narrow little slit. So it'd, be, it'd definitely be worth checking that if your cables would fit. I end up just shaving mine down a little bit to fit in, didn't harm the cable or anything, but I think that is definitely something worth mentioning. Also one more thing worth mentioning is that the power button is very easy to press, like almost too easy. I know that can sound like nitpicking, but sometimes when you're picking up the phone, just like rubbing your hand across it, it's just like very, very easy to press. So it can be turning on and off inside your pocket because it's so easy to press, but that's kind of more of a nitpicking thing and more of a preference. I know a lot of people love it when it's just easy to press because it's just a lot more fluent of an experience when using the phone. But overall, those are the two things that I think that 
I don't know, they're just something worth mentioning if you're interested in this case. But overall, it's a great fit. And the designs are super cool. And the finish on the wood and the resin and the finish between the case, it's a really nice case and a really nice piece of resin. Overall, it's a really, really well done case. And for such a small company, they really don't make many cases because they are just one of one. They're not mass produced. So it's very refined for how small the company is and how little of these things that they are making. So yeah, that is the carved case. There's the logo. It's just carved like that. And yeah, it's a really cool case. I really enjoy it. It's kind of like a piece of art if you could think about it like that, being one of one and something that was handcrafted. And actually you can see the scuff marks on it from the hand sanding process of sanding it down to a smooth surface. So it's kind of just a neat little piece of art and it really just shows your personality something really cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that if you're looking at this case, that this helps you understand how it fits the S22 specifically. All right. Well, thank you for watching.